the day. Let's um, cross over back to Zeyna Khoda, who's in Beirut. We were going to speak to her about the uh, many rallies that are going on around the world, including in the Lebanese capital. Um, who's actually, um, you might say, driving this particular um, uh, demonstration, uh, Zeyna, because there's a great deal of uh, very strong feeling about what's going on in Gaza. No doubt, many Lebanese do emphasize with the Palestinian cause, and they've been watching in horror the scenes from Gaza, the relentless bombardment, the killing of women and children. This particular protest is being organized by Hamas. We are in central Beirut. Many people here are Palestinians as well, because Lebanon has a sizable Palestinian refugee population. People here are condemning what the International Committee of the Red Cross is calling intolerable human suffering. People here are also condemning the silence of the world. There's a lot of anger towards uh, Western leaders saying they have given Israel the green light, the unwavering support to carry out what people here are calling the genocide in Gaza. There's also condemnation of Arab leaders saying that, quote, it is a shame that Israeli flags continue to be hoisted in some Arab capitals. So a show of support, a show of solidarity, but there's also a message of defiance here. Hamas leaders saying that Israel at the end will be defeated and it will not be able to achieve anything by its ground assault and its stated goal of destroying Hamas um, will not happen. So a message of solidarity but at the same time a lot of defiance. Indeed and while that solid solidarity continues there is also a great deal of tension on the border between Lebanon and uh, Israel that's having an impact on those that actually live and work there. Yes, the United Nations now saying nearly 30,000 people have been displaced by the ongoing conflict in the border area, a rise of nearly 40% in the past week alone. Yes, those villages along the border are now empty. People have lost their livelihoods. Uh, uh, people are concerned that this could be a protracted conflict. Yes, many Lebanese will emphasize with the Palestinian cause, but there are many others who are against uh, Lebanon being dragged into this conflict. What is happening along the border is a war between the Israeli military and Hezbollah, an ally of Iran, a group which has repeatedly said Gaza will not fall, Gaza will not be left alone. It's still not clear whether or not Hezbollah plans to escalate its involvement, get more involved, and that would mean the conflict moving deeper inside Lebanese territory. So uh, mixed feelings among Lebanese who actually were here with, or witnessed, sorry, the 2006 war between the Israeli military and Hezbollah, which caused really a lot of devastation. But today the country is, the economy has all but collapsed and people are struggling and so is the state. But no doubt, uh, the majority of the people in this country are supporting the Palestinian people as, uh, you know, with these relentless Israeli bombardments and the fact that a has not been able to reach them. Senator Cotter for us there in Beirut. Thank you.